name's Sarah and this is Jaya. Hello. And we are the Chapel Hill Duo. And in this video, we are going to be looking at our instruments and also showing you some of the different styles of music that we can play on these two instruments. Throughout the video, we're going to be asking you questions about music and there will be places where you can pause the video if you want to have a think about your answers, maybe discuss them with your family and friends as well. Okay, so let's start by looking at the instruments we've got here for you today. So, first question, what's the name of Jaya's instrument? Have a think. So Jaya's instrument is called a violin, and I'm sure most of you knew that already, which is fantastic. Next question, a little bit trickier, what's the name of my instrument? Have a think. So my instrument is called a cello, so very well done if you got that right. The violin and cello are from the same family of musical instruments. Does anyone know the name of that family? So that family is called the strings family and it's actually very easy to remember because we've got strings on our instruments. So the violin is at the higher end of the strings family. So Jaya, can you just demonstrate some high notes on the violin? Everyone have a listen to these high notes. Absolutely. Okay, so the cello, which is at the lower end of the strings family, can play low notes like this. So can you hear there's quite a big difference between the two instruments? Here's another question for you. How many other instruments can you name that belong to the string family? So some of the other members of the string family include the guitar, the double bass, the ukulele, the harp, and there are many, many more instruments as well. If you're interested, pop onto Google and have a look. Okay, so now we've looked at our instruments, let's get started on some of the different styles of music we can play on the violin and the cello. So these instruments were designed to play classical music. Can anyone name a classical composer for us? Maybe take a little bit of time to write down some of your answers. So there are hundreds and hundreds of amazing classical composers or people who wrote classical music out there. Uh, so names including Mozart, Beethoven, Haydn, Tchaikovsky and many, many, many more. So now we're going to play you a piece of classical music by a composer called Vivaldi. Now, this is a really, really lovely piece of music. It's an excerpt or a section from his Spring Concerto. And he actually wrote four concertos or pieces for violin that he named after the season. So he called one spring, one summer, one autumn and one winter. Here we go. Vivaldi's Spring Concerto. The violin and cello were designed to play classical music, so we know we can play classical music on these instruments. But today we're actually going to show you some of the other styles of music that we can play on our instruments. But before we carry on, I'd like to ask you a really important question. Why do we play music? What's it for? And actually when do we hear music in our day-to-day -day lives? 
Take a bit of time to think and write down some of your answers and discuss it with your friends and family. So I'm sure you've come up with many interesting answers to Jaya's question and we're hoping that some of you might have said music in film. So when you're watching telly or watching a film there's some music in the background because film music is our next style of music we're going to talk to you about. So music in films has two very important jobs. The first job is to help set the scene in the film that you're watching. So to demonstrate this, Jaya and I are going to play you three short pieces of music. For this first one, we'd like you to imagine that you're watching a really scary film. You might hear some music that sounds a little bit like this. A little bit, yeah. Now let's pretend that you are watching a happy, relaxing film. You might hear some music that sounds a little bit like this. Or perhaps you're watching a film about a horse race. So, setting the scene. Music is really important to help set the scene of the film that you're watching. The second job that music plays in films is to help introduce us to different characters. So quite often when you're watching a film, you might notice that when a character comes on the screen, a piece of music will start playing to accompany them. That's because that piece of music is their theme. It was written for that character. And then if that character leaves and comes back later on, that same piece of music will come back with them. So what we'd like to do for you now is play a very famous piece of music that was written for a very famous character in a very famous film. But we're not going to tell you what it is just yet. We'd like to see if you recognise this piece of music. So we will give you the answer when we finish playing. <laughs> And a lot of you recognise that piece of music and we can tell you that it is in fact Darth Vader's theme from the film Star Wars. So very very well done if you got that right at home. Okay what we're going to do now is we're going to play you a longer piece of music and in this piece of music you will hear lots of different themes from different films. Now while we play we'd like to ask you to have a think about one the number of different films you hear in this medley and also what they are. So again we will give you the answers at the end but just have a think at home while we play. Let's see how many pieces of music and how many films you recognise. <laughs>
Okay, so we're hoping a lot of you recognise most of those pieces of music. Let's first have a think about the number of different films we heard in that medley. So, hopefully, hopefully you've got all your answers ready. The number of films in that medley was, in fact, five. So, very well done if you got that right, but don't worry if you thought you counted more films because sometimes what we did was we played two different themes from the same one film. So it might have been that you recognised a different piece of music, but it was in fact from the same film. So, now we're going to name the films for you. So we started with Harry Potter, then we went into How to Train Your Dragon, followed by Toy Story, Star Wars and we finished with This Is Me from The Greatest Showman. So very well done if you got all of those right. So if any of you want to go back and listen to the film medley again to see if you can identify those films please do and maybe while you're listening have a think about how the music makes you feel and maybe what might be going on in the film. So is the music scary? Is it happy? Or is it exciting? Have a think. Now we've covered that the violin and cello can play classical music and film music and now we're going to move on to another style of music that we can play on these instruments and that is jazz music. So jazz is a really interesting style of music because in jazz we do a lot of improvisation. Does anyone know what improvisation means? Improvisation is basically just making it up as you go along. So to demonstrate this, what we're going to do is we're actually going to play you another piece of classical music. And in classical music, most of the time, we follow the directions that are written down as closely as we possibly can. So we have music in front of us that tells us exactly what we're going to play which notes we're going to play, how long we're going to play them for, how loud, how quiet they're going to be, even how we're going to play them. Are we going to play them smoothly or are we going to play them short and spiky? We're going to play you a piece now by the composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. I'm pretty sure that most of you are going to recognise this piece of music. It's really, really famous. It's from his Eine Kleine Nacht music suite and it's a really lovely piece of music. Now, I want you to listen to this very carefully because particularly Mozart sounds very organised, very structured and we know exactly what we're going to play. So this is a section from Mozart's Eine Kleine Nacht music. <laughs> I'm sure that most of you recognise that piece of music and that you could tell that it wasn't a piece of jazz music. It didn't really sound very jazz, no, did it? No, not at all, not at all. I wonder, do you think we can turn it into a piece of jazz, Sarah? Oh, should we give it a go? I think we, we should give it a go. OK, what we're going to do is I'm going to improvise. So I'm going to use that piece of music as a guideline. I'm going to add some notes in. I'll take some notes away. I'm going to change some of the harmonies. I'm going to change some of the rhythms. Let's see if we can turn it into a piece of jazz. What are you going to do, Sarah, to make it a bit more jazzy? Well, I think I'm going to do a bit of improvising, do a bit of improvisation. I think I will try and come up with a bit of a jazzy bass line. Um, yeah, and uh, okay. just see what happens. All right. Let's give it a go. Okay, so did that sound a little bit more jazzy? I think it did, didn't it? Sarah? I think so, yeah. Lovely. 
Okay, we're going to play you another piece of jazz music now by an American singer called Nat King Cole. Now, Nat King Cole's music is absolutely incredible and we'll put a link below in the description to some more of his music. But I'm not a singer, so I'm not going to sing the part to you. I'm going to play it on my violin. And I'm going to bear in mind that I'm going to be improvising, so I'm going to make bits up, I'm going to change bits, I'm going to add bits in, and I'm just going to play around with it. Sarah's going to do something slightly different as well to make it sound a little bit more like the original Nat King Cole song. Absolutely. So Nat King Cole used to quite often perform with a guitarist, so someone who plays the guitar. Now a guitar is another member of the Strings family. But what is the main difference between a guitar and a cello? Now a bit of a clue for you. Some of you might have noticed that I was playing my cello slightly differently in the last piece of music, so that's a clue to this question. Okay, so some of you might have come up with a few different answers because there are a few differences between the guitar and the cello. For example, guitar usually has six strings, whereas on my cello I only have four strings. But the main difference we were looking for is that you don't use this, which is called a bow, you don't use it to play a guitar. Guitarists usually use their fingers or a plectrum, which is like a small piece of metal or plastic, to pluck and strum the strings. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to put my bow down and just use my fingers to pluck the strings and hopefully this will make the cello sound a little bit more like a guitar and therefore the music sound a little bit more like the original. So this is L-O-V-E by Nat King Cole and while we play this we'd like to invite you to close your eyes and relax and just enjoy the music. Okay here we go, L-O-V-E by Nat King Cole. Okay, so, quick recap, we've covered that the violin and cello can play classical music, film music and jazz music. And now we are going to finish with a style of music, and it's a style of music that you don't always associate with a violin and a cello, but it is a style of music that Jaya and I play a lot in our lives as professional musicians, and that style is pop music. So we thought we'd play you a little bit of one of our favourite pieces of pop music which is out there at the moment. I'm pretty sure most of you will have heard of Shotgun by George Ezra. Now, while we play this piece of music, we would like to invite you to sing along at home, maybe have a little bit of a dance if you've got space, just do whatever you want to do to help you enjoy the music. <laughs>
much for watching our video today. We really hope you've enjoyed the music you've heard and that you've learned some interesting things about the violin and the cello. Now, if you have enjoyed the music and you would like to hear some more of our music, we've put some links below in the description to our YouTube channels and also our watch and listen page on our website. If anyone has got any questions about what we do as musicians or our instruments or about the music that we play, feel free to comment below or you can get in touch through our social media pages or our website which is www.chapelhillduo.co.uk. Again, we'll make sure we put some links in the description for you.